What's up, y'all? This is Steve Show. Y'all already know. What's up, y'all? It's Steve O'Shea. Y'all already know. All right, y'all. Been having my phone for a couple of weeks now, matter of fact. So I've been playing with it, trying to get used to all the new features and all the extra stuff. So I got some things I love about it. It's a few things I don't like about it, you know. So I get straight to the things I don't like. I got so used to opening my phone like this. They had the finger scanner right there like perfect for me so I pick up my phone bam it's unlocked so now I gotta touch the screen in a certain spot for me to unlock it and it hasn't been working a hundred percent for me you know I gotta find a spot and sometimes I don't realize if I have my phone upside down or not so I've been having a hard time unlocking my phone but it do work once you get your finger on there and let's see see like this see it's off now comes on pretty good you know once you get used to it you know so I think after having my phone for a few months I get more used to that but the way I got it set up now to where uh, this one feature I do like I got my home address set up into my phone so as long as I'm home I ain't got to worry about unlocking my phone you know all I got to do is cut it on swipe up it's unlocked you know, and also it's connected to my watch. So as long as I got my watch connected to it, it's it's I unlock it. You know what I'm saying? So if I walk away from it, I'm too far. Somebody take my phone. My phone's gonna be locked. So I do like that feature. It comes in handy. Cause I ain't gotta worry about all that fingerprint, face scanning, and all that. My phone's gonna be unlocked as long as I have it. And especially when I'm at home, I don't need my phone locked while I'm at home. Ain't nobody taking my phone in my house. You know what I'm saying? So that's one thing I ain't really like. I'm switching it from. I got so used, like I had my phone for two years, so I got used to unlocking my, my uh, phone with my finger right there. It was very, very, very handy. So that's another thing. And also with the the new phone, like I've been having a hard time plugging my phone up to the charger. You know, so I've been thinking it's in there and it's not all the way in there. I got to kind of like get a little bit of force to get it in there. Cause sometimes I thought my phone was charged and it wasn't. It was basically barely sitting in there. And so another thing I recognized was that the uh, the phone cord, let me show you a phone cord, the charger, it's no USB no more. Both of the ends are the same. And I was at work before I realized that. I was trying to uh, hook my phone up to the USB in the radio. I actually plugged this part into there, not even paying attention to what was coming out of the plug. You know, so I plug this into the USB, and I'm like, why my phone not working? Why it ain't connecting? And I had to look at it, I was like, the hell? That's why I, I had the phone for like almost a week before I realized this wasn't a USB, you know? And with my truck, I don't have to worry about it. I got a plug in my truck. So it really don't affect me at all, but I was surprised they took the USB out. I don't know if it's because it's the super fast charger. I don't know, but... Both ends are the same. That's a, something different. And they said it takes 30 minutes to charge the phone, but really, it's my phone was at 60%, and it said it was taking 30 minutes. I don't know if because of the pl plug outlet matters or not, how much charge I'm getting from the phone, uh, plug outlet, but it said 30 minutes to charge my phone at 60. At, uh, it was at 63 percent exactly and it said 30 something minutes to charge my phone so I don't know if that was accurate and all I ain't wait but for the most part my phone has last all day and anybody know me I'm on my phone I use my phone I'm taking videos I'm taking pictures I'm playing my Pandora I'm using Google Maps you know while I'm at work so for uh, by the time I get off work my phone be at either 40 some percent or 50 some percent so I'm happy with that it lasts a whole day uh, as far as a whole day for me until I get home to charge it again 
And when it got to its low, it did charge pretty fast. I do give it that. So I don't know if my phone not telling me the right times every time, but I know if my phone was really low. I charged up, came back. It was like at 80-something. Started from 15. I was like, damn, that was fast. So charge it pretty good. And I'm loving I don't pull out the S Pen that much, but when I do, I enjoy it. I love the uh, screen write, the live messenger. I use that a lot. You can take a message. I mean, you can take a picture, and you can, like, draw stuff on it, and then it'll record. I mean, you save it, and when you save it and play the, the picture, it basically shows you drawing whatever you're drawing. So you can be real creative with that live message. I like that. I send my kids something first day of school. I put, like, Thug Life on my daughter picture and all that. So when she's seen the picture... Thug Life wrote it up on there. I think just sending uh, messages with pictures and something you can write on there, you can get real creative with that. I like that. The stream write, you click on stream write, you can write on any stream. You know, I use that for work. Damaged package, stuff shipped wrong and all that. I can just write what's wrong on the picture instead of texting stuff. I'll be like, hey, look, this is messed up. I can draw it. That works real good for me at work. And as far as somebody like, you got a pen ready? You never have a pen ready. You got a Put, most people, they text it to themselves, or they put in a text message when somebody gives them a confirmation number or something like that. They text it to themselves. A lot of people don't use their notes. Our phone got notes, and I know a lot of people don't much go into their notes. You know, so being able to pull out your pen, write down a note, a confirmation number, or remind yourself you got to pay your bill or how much your bill is, or you got a court date or any information, pull out this pen, you can write it down real quick instead of having to search through after your notes. You can just really click on view all notes, create a note, and bam, you got the information down. And the AR Doodle, I ain't messing with it too much. The AR Doodle, you basically can take a picture. Well, not take a picture, it could be live, somebody could be on there, and you can draw stuff around them and all that, and as they move, the picture move with them and all that. So you can get real creative with the uh, AR Doodle. So the pen, I do like the pen. I don't use it that much, but like I say, when I do pull my pen, I, I'm enjoying myself. And the main thing I love is the video quality, the picture quality. I done took some amazing pictures, some amazing videos, and going live and doing Instagram videos straight from Instagram, the picture look amazing. I can't get enough of that. I am 100% happy with this phone. I'm pretty sure I can have this phone for a couple of years because it is amazing. And the phone is a 200, what, 250 something gig phone. And I got, uh, right now, I got the 100. The 100 gig memory card in it's not a, it's a more than it's 100 and what I forgot the gigs in it but it's a 100 and something gig memory card and I can get the 254 gig memory card and have 500 uh, half a terabyte worth of memory in my phone so I'm cool with that I got plenty of room for all my videos all my uh, pictures and all that I ain't gotta go send them to my phone too much I mean send them to my computer on my hard drive too much they can stay in my phone for a long time. Another thing I tried was to charge my watch with my phone. It really didn't work. I don't know if it's because of the case, but let me see. Wireless power share. But when I last time I tried to charge my watch with my phone, I couldn't really get it to work. It was going on and off, on and off. So let me let me try it right now in front of y'all. See. Move watch to center of phone to charge it. Okay. See, it's saying it's not. In, that's what happened to me last time. I said it wasn't in the center of the phone. So to me, well, it's charging now. Okay, so the watch charging. This is my first time seeing it work. But last time I did, I had to move the watch so many different directions. To get it to charge and it was just not connecting so right now it's charging so hey it could charge through the case it wasn't the case guess i had to just try it again in front of y'all they want to act right so but that is a good future like if i ain't got my watch charged on it but my watch lasts two days easily two days i haven't seen my watch below i've seen it on 20. nothing below 20 i haven't seen it go that low yet you know so I really don't need to charge my watch, but if times do get hard, I might forget the charger and all that. I can always set my watch on my phone 
and charge it up. It's pretty handy. Or somebody else, they got well, they got to have an S10 or a Note to even have that feature. So, but if they do have that and they need their phone charge, I'm like, hey, five dollars, I got you. I can charge the phone up for five dollars. You taking my juice? But I'm curious to see about that too. Like, how much? battery do it drain out of my phone to charge somebody else's phone up that is also a good thing to know one of the most important things i love like oh samsung so smart when they did this they uh they joined teams with uh microsoft so now my phone linked to windows so all my pictures all my messages everything goes to my computer it's linked to my computer and while I'm out and about, I can use my cell phone data to run my computer. So I don't have to worry about no Wi-Fi. That is amazing. I love that. Once I found that out, once they sent me that message, that notification saying I can do that, I was like, ooh, it's going down. I'm going to take my computer more places now. So I love that about it. I think that's one of the smartest things Samsung could have did was uh, link with uh, Microsoft Windows, you know. That's like the best I thing. I really haven't played around with the Bigsby yet. I never really used Bigsby. I really don't use any of them type of features on uh on uh like my TV and all that. I don't I don't use all that stuff too much. But I'm curious about the Bigsby because it has been asking me some questions like, "Are you headed home?" I was like, "Okay, so it knows I'm headed home. Like, are you headed to work?" It's picking up my schedule, knowing the way I move and all that. So I I think I'm gonna start trying to mess with the bigs be a little bit more and it might be a, some features on there some hidden features that I don't know about that I could have been using that be real useful for me so I'm gonna start paying a little bit more focus today right now I got me a new scene I'm trying to work on another little spot for me to do my videos on I'm trying to set up like a two or three scenes around my house to do my videos so I just want to have the same setup same background and all that we'll try to switch it around so this is my first time using this setup, so I'm going to check that out. I think it's going to come out pretty good. Check out the sound quality and all that, but for the most part, I'm loving my Note 10. It's a good buy. I don't know about the... I, everybody say don't get the regular Note 10. Get the Note 10 Plus. You might as well go with the Note 10 Plus. I can't beat it. So, once y'all take the time to subscribe to my channel, if you're new, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to click that bell so you can receive notifications every time I drop a new video so you can check it out. I appreciate the support, all the love, all the feedback, you know. So if you got the Note 10 or have any questions about the Note 10, don't go ahead and uh, leave a comment in the comment area. And I'll be happy to talk to you about it. Any questions you have or you're curious about it or some things I don't know about, I would love somebody to give me some little information on something I don't know that's real beneficial to a YouTuber. You know, I haven't really messed with the editing too much, but I know it's on there. I played around with it. So I'm definitely going to try to get used to editing because I don't bring my GoPro everywhere. And it'd be nice to, this still good footage. So I can just use my phone, do a quick little video while I'm out of town, edit it, and I can upload it while I'm out of town instead of like, hey, I ain't drop a video today. Like when I went to Vegas, it was hard for me to drop a video. You know, I had my GoPro and all that, but I could have did it on my Note 10. Did a quick little episode and all that, edited it from my phone and all that, and then bam, drop it. You know what I'm saying? So, right, y'all, Samsung Note 10, the Steve O Show. Y'all already know. Love it. I do love production.